Hello, Namaskar and welcome. This is an important information video. And this video ko aapko sunne ki zarurat hai, irrespective of whether you are a student of class 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 or even 12th class. Aapko sunne ki zarurat hai because kai sare fair badal, many changes are now going to be made in the entire way you are going to be evaluated as part of the school exam system. Okay, so what does the new education policy really envisage. There is a note which has been released today by the Ministry of Education and that's what I'm going to tell you about in this particular short video. Now the Ministry of Education has announced major changes in the education curriculum. The first one, in fact, aapko yaad hoga kai sari fake news release hui thi, right? Ki board exams crap ho jayenge under the new education policy, the NEP. And I had said to many students, no, the board exam system will not be scrapped. And a source of mine had told me a few months ago that board exams are going to be now conducted twice from next year. That's precisely what is going to happen. The board exams are now going to be conducted twice a year. That is from next academic year. But the students will be allowed to retain the best score. So what will happen is that if I am not prepared for X number of subjects, but I am prepared in Y number of subjects. Let me take an example. Let's say you are ready as far as mathematics and physics is concerned, but you're not prepared for history, civics and biology. So what you could do is to give mathematics and physics in the first slot and you will be allowed to take uh, biology and history, civics and any other subject in the second lot and you will be allowed to mix the two scores, right? Also, in case you want to take both the, both the board exams, the first one as well as the second one, you will be allowed to retain the best score as well. That's what this particular note says from the education ministry. So, this is a big news. Board examinations now, next year, you are not talking about this academic year. Whenever they uh, start implementing it, most likely it will be next year. Uh, it will be held twice a year okay so please note this particular point class 11 and 12 students now this is again very important because most of you study one language right the focus is on if you are a commerce student on commerce accounts uh, accountancy economics etc pcmb humanities may geography history civics political science whatever now you will have to study one more language and that has to be an indian language so if you are studying english which will be there you will have to study, let's say, Hindi, a Tamil, a Telugu, a Bengali, a Gujarati or Punjabi, one of the Indian languages also. Even in class 11 and 12, it will not stop at the class 10 stage. Very important decision. Number three, the choice of subjects in classes 11 and 12 will not be restricted to streams and students will get the flexibility to choose. Say, for example, I am a science student, right? Uh, I take PCM, but I want to take a fifth subject of, let's say, humanities. Let's say I'm very interested in political science. I will be given the flexibility to choose a subject which is not per se technically science. So there will be an option to mix and match the way it is done in many foreign universities where there are students who mix up, let's say, um, um, uh, subjects like economics with a science subject you know i'm interested in physics but i don't like maths so i can take physics and i can mix it up with a subject like economics i know of universities in the usa which offer these kind of options so that is another option which will provide a lot of relief to the students okay the other thing is school boards, that is the CBSC or the uh, CISE or the different state boards. They will be asked to develop capacities to offer on-demand exams in due course of time. So, isme to thora sa time lagega. That is, if X number of students want to take the exams, let's say in the month of September, lekin aapke board exams scheduled hain sirf in the month of November or December. Lekin agar September mein kafi sare students exam dena chahte hain, to School boards will have to have the capability to say that, okay, we will conduct a board exam on the, let's say, the 20th of September, right? That capability will have to be developed by CBSE, CISE and different 
स्टेट बोर्ड नाउ अगेन सो विच विल मेक इट ऑल वेरी फ्लेक्सीबल जब स्टूडेंट चाहे और जब स्टूडेंट को लगे कि मैं अभी तैयार हूं मैं एग्जाम के लिए बैठ सकता हूं या बैठ सकती हूं दैट फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी इज गोइंग टू बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू द एंटायर एजुकेशन सिस्टम द बोर्ड एग्जाम्स रट्टे मारने के दिन गए समझने के दिन आएंगे आ गए हैं काफी हद तक और भी ज्यादा आएंगे सो द बोर्ड एग्जाम्स विल एसेस अंडरस्टैंडिंग अचीवमेंट ऑफ कॉम्पिटेंसिस यानी कि अगर क्या आपको इस पर्टिकुलर विषय के बारे में पूरी जानकारी है या नहीं वेदर यू हैव द कंप्लीट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बायोलॉजी और ऑफ फिजिक्स और यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट इन सिविक्स पोलिटिकल साइंस जियोग्राफी एनी काइंड ऑफ सब्जेक्ट वेदर यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर प्ले ऑफ शेक्सपियर वेरी वेल सो दे विल टेस्ट योर अचीवमेंट ऑफ योर कॉम्पिटेंसी इन दैट सब्जेक्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट मंथ्स एंड मंथ्स ऑफ यू नो मेमोराइजेशन या कोचिंग कहीं पे टीचर बोले रट्टा मार लो रट्टा मार लो ऐसा नहीं चलेगा आपकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग के ऊपर आपको टेस्ट किया जाएगा ओके दिस इज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द काइंड ऑफ एजुकेटर दैट आई एम आई फील वेरी हैप्पी विद समथिंग लाइक दिस लास्ट पॉइंट और इससे आई थिंक स्टूडेंट्स ज्यादा पेरेंट्स ज्यादा खुश होंगे ओके एंड दिस इज एप्लीकेबल इवन टू दी जूनियर क्लासेस वो टेक्स्ट बुक को कवर करने की प्रथा कई सालों से चली आ रही है राइट it happened i mean we used to do it in our childhood my daughter used to do it and my father does it very well abhi wo karne ki zarurat nahi hai the current practice of covering textbooks in classroom will be avoided and the cost of textbooks will also be optimized ki textbook ka cost itna zyada na ho kam kiya jaye isse bhi kafi rahat milegi parents ko that you know you don't have to do this unnecessary work and the cost of the textbook also to be optimized ncert ke textbooks generally aren't very expensive but the kind of textbooks since the other boards don't prescribe a particular textbook those ones are generally quite expensive uh, compared to what ncert are uh, ncert textbooks are so these are the major changes which have been introduced in the education curriculum by the ministry of education there will be more details and clarifications which will be presented by the education ministry lekin maine samjha ki aapko ye janne ki zarurat hai kyunki ye aapke agle saal usse agle saal ke pure jis tarah se aap padhenge kya aap padhenge kis tarah ke exam honge kab exam honge kab aapko exam mein baithna hai right un sabhi decisions par is decision ka kafi gehra asar padega right so thank you very much stay tuned share support subscribe to SWS. Tata, bye-bye.